Hey, this is your boy Bob TV, Freedom on Fire. Hey, I'm over here at Grand Army Plaza in Brooklyn. Check it out. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, this uh, this DNC fraudulent, fraudulent election. Tom Perez was going to get this thing from the jump start. Bernie tried to act like Bernie tried to push Keith Ellison. Um, Chuck Schumer tried to act like he was on the side, but we all know what happened. The elite get in the way, the establishment get in the way. Uh, you got President Obama pushing for Perez, uh, Biden pushing for pushing for Perez, uh, Perez. Hillary Clinton probably pushed for Perez, and um, that is the problem with the party, and that's why so many people are leaving this freaking party is because you got old school people controlling the party and want to keep on the control keep their control even though they're freaking dying and Bernie is trying to do this I'm going to say to the Democratic Party it's not going to happen doc you're trying to give CPR to something that's dead already and we're trying to tell you right now you have an opportunity to give birth to something great but you refuse and what's going to end up happening is we're not going to turn around and go your direction I hope you get this message man it's not going to happen. The 13 million people, they're gone. They're not coming back because you choose to stay with the dying instead of birthing something great. The responsibility and weight of the world is on your shoulder, but we're going to take it off your shoulder and put it on ours. Because we know that you're not the only leader in this world that can take us to the promised land. And we wiped our hands. A lot of us wiped our hands with you um, when you... Um, endorse Hillary Clinton and a lot of them still some of them still trying to give you the benefit of doubt but it's too many that's done with you they feel like you sold out and the way you're talking about saving something that's dead which one is more important the people or the party the people or the party now when they chose Tom Perez it was done and him trying to reach out to Keith Ellison is not a reach out doc you're not reaching out to the progressives because Keith Ellison doesn't represent the progressive. He's not the progressive leader. So you can hang that up. So that's not an olive branch. That's you trying to hand us a bone. And like, you know, the progressive movement is a pit bull doc and we like blood and meat. We don't want no bones. So I'm done, man. I had to make this quick. But Tom Perez was the death of the Democratic Party. Bernie Sanders, you can stop trying to, you know, trying to breathe life into a dead body, man. Well, you can go get birth. You can go and make some love and get birth, but you choose not to. You choose to stay with a dying party, and you're going to die with it. And your popularity is going to begin to decline soon enough because the people are not following you no more. You already taught them that this movement is bigger than a man, and we realize this, and we're going to take this movement somewhere else. And the Draft Bernie Initiative is a good initiative, but they have to understand that whether you come or not, we're going forward. We're not coming back. We're moving forward. And what they just did was kill the Democratic Party a chance to get anything in 2018 and 2020. And it's up to the Independent Party. It's up to true progressives without a party hat coming together to do what we need to do to press against these corporate kiss-up, whoremongering, financial whoremongering Democrats. And he's sad, but it's just the way they are, Republicans. Anyway, I'm a loss of words, man. Tom Perez, kind of know what's going to happen. Because the same people who push Hillary Clinton down our throat are the same people who push Tom Perez down our throat. And they're basically saying, you're going to take this and like it or leave us alone. Guess what? We're going to leave you alone, Doc. We're not going to let you cram stuff down our throat. We're gone. We're out. I've never been a party person. I'm more of a person person. I vote individually. I still may vote with some Democrats uh, that are progressive, that doesn't take money and things like that. But if you are from big donors, I'm not voting for you. I'm not supporting this crap no more. I want people who are subject to people, who are sold out to people, 
who want to be financed by the people and who want to be held accountable by the people. No more of this cronyism, corporate politicians on every spectrum. I don't care if you're a corporate politician. I don't care what party you're in. If you're, if you're a politician that's about greed and power, I want to have nothing to do with you. And hate to say Barney, Bernie Sanders, you not, may not be a politician of greed, but you are a politician of power. And you're trying to hold on to this Democratic Party as a sign of your power to try to move us your way when you need to be following us, Doc. You need to be following us. I'm Bob TV. Peace.